Hello, you're playing The Waiting Game. This is the show where we recommend a fistful of things to keep you busy until the game you want comes out. This week, we assume you want Beyond Two Souls. Is that a scar? Is that recent? I know. They're coming. Now, just to recap, Beyond Two Souls, out in October, tells the story of Jodie Holmes from age 8 to 23. She's accompanied by supernatural entity Aiden, earning her the attention of the CIA, who turn her into a pretty kick-ass agent. She also has a foul mouth. Tell them to leave me the fuck alone, because next time, I'll kill everyone. OK, so those are the basics. Now on to the stuff you should check out while you're waiting for the game to ship. Beyond Two Souls is being developed by Quantic Dream, who made Heavy Rain. Obviously, that's worth a glance, but chances are you've already been there, completed that, worn out the meme. Jason! Just coming! Instead, why not play Indigo Prophecy, which some of you will know as Fahrenheit. Indigo Prophecy, like Beyond, mixes the paranormal with some action-adventure. And, like Beyond and Heavy Rain, Indigo Prophecy was written by David Cage, so it's a good way to see how he deals with the spooky stuff. The game concerns itself with a string of murders that see normal people becoming possessed and killing random strangers in public. Funnily enough, that's quite unusual, so it's up to you to get to the bottom of the supernatural mystery. The story is even more interesting given possession is one of Aiden's abilities in Beyond Two Souls. Are the two stories linked somehow? Probably not. Is it worth a look in anyway? Probably yes. If you want something closer to the action meets X-Files tone of Beyond, though, you should drop in on your friend and mine, Mr. Alan Wake. Alan. It wasn't received quite so well as Microsoft hoped, but Alan Wake is a pretty solid psychological thriller and should help get you in the mindset to meet Jodie properly. The game follows famous writer Alan Wake, who suddenly finds himself living out the story of one of his books, one he doesn't remember writing. As he frantically tries to piece a story together, he is increasingly tormented by spectres of his own creation, forging a similar link between the protagonist and the supernatural to the one we've seen in Beyond Two Souls. Not bad, Jody. Right, so that's games covered, but what about the rest of the stuff? Well, Beyond Two Souls is unique in that it's really pushing the actors behind the game, giving Alan Page top billing on the box art. If you want to test Ellen Page's metal, she's good with the supernatural stuff in Inception, but your best bet would be recent offering The East, in which she plays a girl similarly pitted against faceless corporate foes with major badass tendencies. We are The East. The film follows an ex-FBI agent who is tasked with infiltrating underground activist movement The East in order to protect the corporate interests of her employers. Somewhat predictably, she ends up in over her head and, well, let's not spoil the plot. The East was pretty well received across the board, to be honest, but if you don't fancy that, you could always check out Ellen Page in The Last of Us. And finally, if you're thoroughly sick of sitting in front of a screen, you could always just jam your nose in a book. Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials trilogy is an excellent way to get ready for Beyond Two Souls, as it features a strong female lead, inextricably linked to a supernatural being, trying to make sense of her place in the world as she grows older. It's a pretty good fit. The first book of the trilogy joins Lyra as a young girl on the verge of growing up and just before an adventure of epic importance, much like Jodie in Beyond Two Souls. And again, like Jodie, Lyra is linked to another being, in this instance her demon Pantalaemon. Pan, for short, is able to change himself into any animal at will, becoming a line to scare off threats whenever Lyra gets scared, for instance. Throughout the trilogy, the two help each other out in order to carry on their journey, making it a really good way to explore the same kind of relationship you'll be dealing with in Beyond Two Souls. Just don't watch the film of The Golden Compass, which was adapted from the first book, or I will hunt you down and make you pay. I'll be back before they even realise what's happened. If you fancy picking up any of this week's recommendations, or Beyond Two Souls itself, just follow the link on screen now, because Amazon have made you a handy list. Alright, that's it for this week, but if you have any recommendations of your own, please do leave them in a comment or tweet using the hashtag GSWaitingGame. See you next week.